A professor at Ferris State University has created a new device that will help make wearing glasses easier for people with a cochlear implant. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains what inspired the invention and the impact it could have. All new tonight. It's a small device that is making a big difference for five-year-old Britt Taylor. The title right now we're using is Protoconk because it's a prototype of a cochlear implant. And that's Daniel Taylor, the dean of the Michigan College of Optometry at Ferris State University and Britt's father, invented the now patented device after seeing a need that wasn't being met for people with cochlear implants who wear glasses. And I saw someone getting fit in a pair of sunglasses that had Bluetooth earbuds built in. And I thought, oh, that's cool. I'm sure they have something equally cool for people who have cochlear implants. And it turns out they didn't. Taylor started developing the device about four years ago and with the help of a co-inventor from the mechanical engineering technology program was able to create a prototype. The benefit of ours is it's a ball and socket joint. So basically you just lift it off and then place it back on again. It makes it a lot easier to take on and off throughout the day. The glasses frame and the cochlear implant occupy the same space above the ear, which pose a list of challenges. For kids like Britt here, whose ears are smaller, of course, that's a big problem. You know, it can be uncomfortable. It can be difficult to wear glasses at the same time. You can take your glasses off and the cochlear processor can fall off. The project was made possible with grant funding from the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. The device is still not completely done. It's patented, but we still need to go through a few more rounds of, of uh, prototyping to make it perfect. So we wear it sometimes, and then sometimes we use a very thin, light pair of glasses. The work to make the device available is only just beginning. The real hope is that we get this to the point where it's very easy for us to license this to a, a medical device manufacturer, a frame manufacturer, maybe a cochlear implant company that wants to make it available to their customers. Kyle Mitchell, News 8.